So I've got to die. Is that going to be a a thing where I can I have to tell my friends that I have aged five hundred years or Where am I? Angel God Stone Prison. I've aged. So So that means we're closing to the end game. Umbra. Umbra. What does it say? Be waiting. In Hammerhead. Okay. Chosen King's Calling. I've earned redemption. <sighs> right. <laughs> Many XP. Pronto, you still taking pictures? It's alright. What have we got now? Homecoming. Noctis leaves his prison to find himself on Angel Guard. His father's ship moored on the shore, none the worse for wear. It now carries him back to Golden Key, back to his kingdom. So this place is called Angel Guard. It's the thing when we set outside of Gold, it's like, oh look, it's an island. Word of Ruin reunited the others. How long? Where'd everybody go? Oh shit. Okay. Quest. I still have all the side quests. Demons everywhere. They're level 7 only. You, please stop one. Gear. I look terrible, by the way. Like, not terrible as in, like, horrible character design. I look terrible as in, I look very wary. Last man standing. Ow. Thornberries. Oh boy. Oh 
Max on fire. Come on, die already. Hang on. Gear. And let's put a bio blaster plus. And instead of lands, have the uh, the ring. Oh my god, are you kidding? Turn the fucking fleet. Let's go. Is the Regalia going to be here? Of course not. Got to walk that two miles? One of those. What is that? Those are multicolored bombs. And that's a uh, fire. Right. Oh my god. No! Not what I want it. Don't target, don't target, just run. Just run for now. Too many demons. It's a car. A truck. Hey. Uh. Yeah. It's me, uh, Talkit. 
My grandpa served the Amicidia family. Talcott? Yeah. No way. way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. How long was I out? Yes, sir. That's that's right. Huh? Uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Is that Gladio then? Wow. Oh my God. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten years? <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they, anyway? Listalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. Huh. Oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open though, one of the few places that is. So, that's it. He's still alive and kicking. <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there, too. But old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big, fat, chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Dignus? He hunts too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I've got loads. It's been 10 years? I wonder how all the other guys have aged. You have to say for yourself after all this time. <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really you! I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside.
head for the Crown City. The final battle will com uh, commence once you leave Hammerhead. Be, sp be sure to spare no preparation. So can I call Lumbra? I still can, okay. So this is where I can... Um, I can sort everything out. Uh, geophysical survey of atmospheric condition. The presence of soup like photophilic particles will confirm the sample of the air taken varying elevations with notably higher concentration at higher altitudes. Photophilic particles have begun to subsume the ozone layer, and the, the observed reduction of daylight on EOS can be attributed to primary, primarily to their light absorbing properties. Uh, gear. It looks weird. So, uh, what what is it? Gladys got a ponytail. Ignis has less rug, less spiky hair, and Prompto's got a goatee. Literally, that's it. Shit's fucked, everywhere's dark. That that about right? Never been on this side of the bar before. Hmm. Let's go, let's go have a chat with Cindy. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna pop back and complete my side quests. Hey. Cause why not? Durandal, Hyperion, Radiant Lands, all these things I want. I'll see you later. We'll talk later then. This, this is the regular shop though, is it? Yeah, it is. I'm fine for that now. What about where's Cindy? Is she not here? Alright. I guess we'll go back and sort more side quests out then. I'll be doing all the monster hunts first then. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. First of all, but first of all, let's talk about Arden. The Chancellor's still around though. In insomnia. Nobody who saw him had any clue what he might have been up to. Their stories piqued Ignis's curiosity. I ended up helping Ignis look into the matter, digging through old records, even joining him on trips to the royal tombs. Royally roped into it. <laughs> it's cool. I'm a bit of a history buff myself. But we did discover something pretty weird. Huh? While we were poring over all those ancient texts, one name caught our eye. Ardens. Apparently he was hailed as a savior healing all those who were ravaged by demons, only to end up branded a demon himself. A dubious charge, I'd say. By all accounts, he was just as human as you and me. <sighs> I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. What about the army? We've even got some former Imperials fighting for us. The toughest of them said she used to lead a band of mercenaries. Aranea? <laughs> so you do know her. Well, I'm not surprised. The Marshal said she was feared far and wide back in the day. But now she's revered among the Lucian masses. Same with her men, Biggs and Wedge. Each of them leads their own small army. <sighs> That's great. I'm more than happy to tell you everything- Empire. Oh, right. Uh, about the Empire. Huh. Gladio brought back word that both the Emperor and High Commander were dead. With those two gone, Niflheim pretty much fell apart. Yeah, figured. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Something else. What about the demons? On the bright side, we've come a little closer to understanding the demons. And? You see, I'd always thought they were animals. Only more hideous and savage. But it turns out they're just ordinary people. Unlucky folk infected by something or other that transformed them into monsters. 
There's no known cure as of yet. So death is the only mercy. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. A cordo. We've got a lot of survivors pouring in from a cordo, too. What with all the demon attacks there as of late? Not like it's much better here. The Stalem's practically overflowing with refugees from insomnia. The Empire's recovery assistance fell by the wayside, and demons overran the city. Thankfully, Iris and the Marshal managed to evacuate the civilians. Now there's no one left, except the demons. I spent my childhood in the Crown City. It's sad knowing it's gone, you know? Not for long. I'll get it back. I the King to reclaim our home, and now I'm back, as promised. All these years and you remembered. You bet. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Your Majesty? Do you remember my grandfather? Yeah. There's something I wasn't able to tell you back then. Grandpa died because of me. It was my fault. An Imperial officer approached me in town, asked if I was from the Crown City. And that was just the beginning. What brings you here, young man? You didn't come here by yourself, did you? Oh, your grandfather's a butler at a manor. How very grand. Oh, he rubs shoulders with the royal family. You must be ever so proud. I answered him without thinking. A little after that, the man showed up at our hotel. Talcott. Think what you will of me. But please know that Grandpa didn't give you away. Listen. Yeah? You're not a kid anymore. You should know by now what happened that day wasn't your fault. None of it. <sighs> you know, it's hard to ask someone about their pain, but it's just as hard to share your own with someone else. I appreciate you opening up to me. And I swear, I'll make things right. But believe me when I say, nobody blames you. Not me, not your grandpa. Trust me, you have the king's word. I suppose you're right, your majesty. Thank you. That's it. Safe travels. Your majesty. Can I actually still travel there? Doesn't look like it. Because there's no cars. So... I guess we're calling Umbra. And we're going back to the past. Until then, I'll just sort more side quests out. Level up. And then we'll be ready to take on... Uh, take, take back our throne. Let's do that instead.